video 19 and we've got a tricky chord today for beginner ukulele players I used to hate this chord <laughs> I used to avoid every single song I ever found that had this chord in it or I would transpose away from that chord so that I could play the song even if it meant I had to sing high or sing lower just so I could get rid of E major on the ukulele so if you look at this diagram over here, we can see E major is not a simple chord to play. We're going to have to bar three of the strings, the top three str strings, with our third finger on the fourth fret. But we need to leave this little space over here so that we can push down with our first finger on the second fret of the, um, the, e, the A string. So that's quite tricky because your barring finger quite literally has to bend backwards a little bit. So you're going to have to be able to bend this finger back as it presses down over there. Maybe that's a, a good angle to show you. So as I'm on that, that fret, I need to bend it up a little bit. Can you see that little bend? <laughs> so that I'm touching all three of these strings and pushing them down onto the fret wire but I'm not touching the A string at the bottom. Then this finger, just at its base, is going to push down there so that I've got that A string touched there and that gives us our E chord. I still don't like it. But I can play it. And when I'm in the middle of a song, I generally get it quite neat. Sometimes I even put this finger down just to give a bit of support. It just helps. So my E looks like that. <laughs> we all need to practice some more. So the E, the e chord is a bit of a, a trick to play. Take your time with it. Get used to pushing down. Bending this knuckle over here backwards. And then this finger can just rest on those strings, puts a bit of less of a strain of your hand than trying to keep it up. And then this one, just at the base, pushes down on the second fret. There are other ways of playing E, but this is the most open version of E. So let's have a look if we can jump between D and E. If you find this video excruciating, go to video 20 and try that one there's a similar chord there but don't let it get you down eventually with a bit of practice you start getting a neater and neater e um, so don't worry about it but let's make a good effort so we're going to be jumping between d this one remember d all three fingers on the second fret of the first three strings to e so let's go starting with d one two three four It will, it will come with time. Just be patient. All right, our next little exercise, the last one for this video, is jumping from the A major chord to the E chord. So A major was that one, and we'll start with A. One, two, three, four. A.
trick is repetition, folks. If you just spend a good amount of time jumping between chords that you know are going to come up and bite you. The way I did this years ago is I just looked through my long or my large collection of songs and as I was playing them I started recognizing that in some songs there were certain parts where I always messed up. And I would look and say, okay, that is a change between this particular chord and this particular chord. And that's the only part of the song, or that's the one part of the song that keeps on catching me. And I would just note down that chord change and practice it literally hundreds of times until it became smooth. So, best of luck to you, and join me in the next video.